first of all, 14 minutes in the first half, you hit that big three with a tie game. Um, getting those extended minutes at the point, how much more comfortable do you feel at this point in the season with that goal? Yeah, it feels good. Um, obviously, you know, sometimes playing the one, sometimes playing the two, depending on who, what we need at that time. Um, Brayden got in foul trouble, so I had to play the one for a little bit, but really just, you know, um, I've, it's, I've been comfortable playing the role, you know, obviously just setting up the defense, trying to get the ball in the sack as much as we can, obviously playing within our offense and just, you know, just execute all of our sets really. Just the left off the bench gave tonight was was there anything secret to that or just this kind of how it unfolded man just really staying ready to go we know some games you know you'll play a lot some games you know you might not play as much but it's about just staying ready with the opportunity you're given you know and i think that all of our guys did that trey kaufman came in and gave huge minutes uh, brandon came in and gave really good defensive minutes and all of our guys man you know and i try to come in and do what i can you know when Brayden went out um, it, it's all a contributor winning man and that's what we're all about i like how um, unselfish this team is and how everybody's self you know, it really means a lot, which is why I think we uh, are able to carry out this win tonight. Mason didn't, you know, score a lot, but just can you discuss his hustle plays and kind of him Man, being in the right position Mason, to. Uh, is, is the ultimate blue collar. You know, he goes so hard. It's honestly so amazing to really see it. Um, you know, even sometimes when he goes to the offensive glass, he may not get it, but you know, he may be getting us a possession or, you know, he may be getting a, out of bounds and stopping transition. Like, he just does the little things that may not show up all the time. Kind of the same way as Morty, man. Those guys are our two blue collar teams, and every team would love to have those guys on their team. Is there anything different during that 15 nothing run in the first half? You'd been down most of the game before that, went 15 in a row. Was there anything different during that time? No, nah, man. Really just staying composed and poised. Um, <laughs> I think that, you know, so there's obviously the, the game is about runs. You know, sometimes we'll be up on a run, and sometimes we'll see up on runs. But staying uh, poised. And I really like not just this game, but throughout the whole year, we've been handling adversity, man. We've been down some time to have, you know, just really handling that. We try to um, smash the ball inside sometimes and then kick outs and really just playing off each other. Um, offensive Second straight game, you got an open look early and it goes down. And that first one falls, it adds up the rest of the game feels good. Yeah, man, it feels great. I mean, that's, you know, especially coming off the bench, you know, if you can make your first shot. You, for me, usually, I really feel pretty good about it. Um, you know, and I knew I'd probably make a few more after that if I get the look. But, you know, credit to Zach for looking for me when he gets double teamed. Credit to all of our teammates. We look for each other. Like I said, it all just goes back to how unselfish we are on the team. You were obviously a scorer before you came here. You still are a scorer, but just maybe in spurts. Ohio State hit some big shots here. You hit some big shots tonight. Just you kind of like that. Maybe I, I know you would like to score 20 points a game, but coming off the bench and having that ability to, hey, I can give us a lift when we need it. Yeah, man, again, really just accepting the rule. You know, I'm a humble dude. Um, it doesn't bother me that I'm not how I was scoring 20 points, 30 points, whatever. Like, that doesn't bother me um, because I'm on the only one team in the country at the end of the day, and we're winning. So um, whatever I can do to sacrifice defensively, offensively, I'm going to do that. Um, and then, obviously, you know, he did recruit me to score, so when I get the opportunity to do that, I'm going to do that as well. Um, and I think that will be key for me as well, especially when I see some of these late games um, during, like, postseason. Why has this team been so good on the road? like in road environments. Man, you know, I was kind of wondering the same thing myself, man. Again, I just think we just, just I, I don't know. We're, we're, we're so close as a team off the court, you know, and it translates on the court, and it's, and it's weird. But, man, we stay just composed, and, and it's weird because we got a bunch of young dudes, man, like, you know, uh, Alex and Braden and, all, and all, the, all the way down. Like, it's, it's amazing to really see how composed and poised they can be throughout the whole game. Um, because they never played college basketball before this year, and um, I know a bunch of guys who played a long time in case of situations like that. So I think credit to them and just credit to our whole team just handling uh, different obstacles that we're putting. Team of selfless guys, but ego's healthy too. So is every win at this point a statement now that you're number one? Yeah. Um, you know, not being content and comfortable at the same time, making sure we're always carrying away. This is the Big Ten, man. Everything. I'm starting to learn that um, from top to bottom, you know, and making sure we're on our PGQs every night because I knew Michigan would come here and uh, play us in. You know, Hunter Dixon's a great player, but Zach took a tour tonight, man. I love it. it. It's actually amazing to really see two bigs go out like that. And I sat to get the bands of them. Uh, but you know, again, yeah, like, credit to them, they're a really good team. But uh, every, every win we have now is really crucial to us winning the Big Ten Championship. Eight is gone against Dickinson now at this. Phil Kowski, Timmy, any doubt he's the best big in the country? <laughs> you know, uh, again, it, it's just amazing to see it. You know, because in my head, I'm like, dang, this is going to be interesting to see, you know. And then I just see him start attacking them early. I said, oh, yeah. When you take the fight to someone like that, I knew it was going to be over.